How's it going guys? Today I'm here at the Macquarie Uni Lizard Lab. I do some volunteering here once a week and a few other projects, all lizard related, lizard care, lizard adaptations, survival mechanisms, predator-prey relationships, things like that. But uh, today on the Fridays I just come in here and do basic care on most of the lizards here. And uh, they've got a lot of blue tongues here, a lot of water skinks, some tree skinks, water dragons, a couple other things. But today we'll look at some of the blueies they got and a uh, really special bluey at that. These are all wild caught animals I believe, which will be released once the studies on them are finished. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. So all the blueies I work with here are kept out here in the outdoor pit area. These are just some of the pits we got here. They're pretty cool, there's these round tubs, decent size, got some shade over the top, water and some hides, pretty simple but it's really effective. The water skinks and tree skinks that live around in here, really love it, there's a little tree skink there. And yeah, it's a really simple setup. They just get crickets and stuff, blueies get salads or crickets and dog food, depends on the day. Yeah, really simple setup but it works really well. And yeah, some blueies here are quite grumpy. <laughs> Not sure I've seen this one yet. But um, yeah, they're all quite beautiful. All Sydney region locales. This guy will probably nip me if I get too close. So this skink is super interesting. I have no idea the story behind it. But it's got like nearly no pattern or it's like really washed out and it's a really interesting yellow color all over. Not so the main reason I wanted to do this video was for this guy. This is a special blue tongue lizard right here. It's actually a wild occurring patternless eastern blue tongue skink and there's patternless blue tongues in captivity obviously different line to this guy and they're a genetic morph but this guy has some beat I reckon they like ones that Joe has shout out to Joe um, they have some patterning on their back you know a little bit of patterning in that this guy is pretty much completely patternless aside from those spots on his side and he's a beautiful little lizard this guy was brought in for the studies and it's bloody stunning as you can see and the size of him is quite surprising to me because um, you think a, a mutation like that getting rid of the pattern would affect his camouflage and ability to survive but he's made it to this size that look it doesn't seem to be a detrimental uh, color form at least not yet, <laughs> or he's just a really smart lizard. And he's actually, for a wild animal, he's really chilled out. Like, doesn't even hiss at me. Bloody awesome lizard. Yeah, that's a little special patternless blue tongue. So there you go, guys. Just a quick look at all the lizard pits here. Some of the blueies in them. Hope you guys enjoy. So let me know what you guys like the most. My favorite is definitely this guy, the patternless bluey. But uh, yeah, lots of cool animals here. Special shout out to everyone here for giving me the opportunity to come do some volunteering, get more skills, experience, things like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, lots of new videos coming in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.